The narcissist is an enigma of sorts. They're just kind of one big ball of confusion. They're, they're kind of a slave to their own kind of madness, you know? They're, they're kind of stuck in this, this fictitious world, but yet they can't get out of it. They can't get away from it. But then it kind of seems like they kind of like it, you know, so they kind of enjoy it and they keep doing the same things over and over and over like a broken record. And so it's this just kind of complete ball of confusion. It, it makes no sense to an outside onlooker. It just, it's, it's just makes absolutely no sense. You cannot make sense of it if you tried. Uh, they do have predictable patterns, however, you know, that, that makes some sense. Uh, you can make sense of it, but you can't really understand why they do it. I mean, to some degree, to some degree, you can say, okay, well, they're extremely entitled because their parents overvalued them and so they feel that now everyone else should put them up on this pedestal. I mean, some of it makes sense in certain ways, but then it's like, okay, you were overvalued, so now you're like this complete hell spawn because you got too much praise and now you have to hurt everyone? Like, it's like complete insanity. It, it, a lot of it doesn't make sense. You can't... You can, like, connect some of the dots, but you can't connect all of the dots. Like, there's, like, certain spots that connect, and then there's, like, gaps in between where you're like, okay, that doesn't make sense, that doesn't make sense, but that kind of makes sense. It's, so it's just, like... It's just total chaos. It's just total chaos. And anyone that hasn't experienced it, you're not going to understand how these people operate at all, even by watching the videos, unless you've experienced it personally and observed the behaviors firsthand. Because it's, it's very complex, even though it's... Uh, they They have pretty complex kind of things that they do and just different patterns that are so complex that if you didn't, you wouldn't be able to put all the pieces together if you didn't observe the behavior firsthand and also watch the videos. So... But then the other thing is they have no ability to change whatsoever. They're just stuck in this one mindset, you know, this one way of operating. You know, it's like they have a specific operating system that they run off of, and the rest of us are on a completely different operating system like we're on a completely different wavelength and going into their world and trying to go along with the way they see the world and the way they do things is uh that's like co-signing their illness or their state of mind that they're in. I mean, you're, you, you'd have to immediately leave. Like, it's not a world you're going to want to stay in. You're going to go into this world and you're going to be like, oh my god, where's the fire escape? Like, I have to get, I have to get out of here. <laughs> I have to get out of here. You're just going to be like, what did I just enter into? And then, you know, Obviously, they don't show their true colors for quite a while. That's part of the deception, which is part of their whole game. 
So until you see their true colors, which is probably not going to be till like, I don't know, six months. It could be even years later because, uh, you know, some of them are that deceptive. Then you're, you're not going to know you're in this world until it's too late. But once you find out, trust me, you're going to be looking for the door. You're going to be like, how did the, this, how did I become enmeshed with these kind of, how did this, uh, you know, snake sink its fangs into me? Like, how did I get enmeshed, uh, with these, uh, devilish ghouls? And you're going to want to get the hell out of there, trust me. But, uh, you know, it's pretty nonsensical for most of us, but it's not a pleasant place, so you're going to want to hit the door as fast as possible. Believe me on that one. <laughs>